Cracker Cracker Pet Vet here. There has been a lot of discussion on Instagram about the Navli coming up, and I did take it 11 years ago. I think that there's some things that I can offer you that might help you in preparing. So if you want specific study tips and tricks, I think that following Dr. Sweet and Low, who puts up some great quizzes, Vet Lauren has some good answers on how she studied, um, and the new grad vet is the same way. I think that those are some good accounts. I studied 11 years ago. I did vet prep on the computer. I know I didn't study exotics very much because it was a small percentage, and that's the extent that I can help you with how to study. Now, the bigger thing I think, and what I would like to offer you some thoughts on, is preparing mentally. So this is a long test. It's a long test that means a lot, which means automatic anxiety. My heart rate just went up a little bit when I said that. So I do think that one, if you are someone who struggles with anxiety, uh, test anxiety, with uh, reading comprehension, dyslexia, I think utilizing the tools that your school offers now to try to kind of handle those things and be in a good place as possible going into the test is really important. So definitely reach out to your school counseling services um, and see what help they can give you going into the test. Now, I don't struggle with any of those things. And there's some things that I've learned over the years that have helped me with large standardized tests. So one of the biggest things is do not change your answer. So I know a lot of us want to get the answer correct and we'll go back and we'll reread. Is that right? Is that wrong? And change answers. Statistically, you are more likely to change your answer to an incorrect answer than a correct one. So unless you are 110% sure you are changing to the correct answer, leave your answer alone. On the NAVLI, you have a lot of sections. You have to learn to take each question, do it, address it, and leave it behind you. Sections are the same way. And this might sound weird, but sometimes you lie to yourself a little bit. I had one section that I bombed on the NAVLI. And you know what I told myself? That wasn't the section that counted. That was the section that they put in there to try out questions for future tests because there is one of those sections. So if you have to lie to yourself and tell yourself that section didn't count, do that, okay? Because you mentally need to move on to the next section refreshed and ready to go. So it is a mental game and you have to prepare yourself for it, just like any event. Now the other thing is, other than don't change your answer, is have an answer ready. So sometimes you're gonna read a question and say, I have absolutely no clue what the answer is. And in that case, you need to pick a letter. My letter was always C, I picked C, and I moved on to the next question. Sitting and analyzing and focusing on one question when you have no idea will not benefit you. The answer is not going to suddenly come to you. If it does, that's amazing, but a majority of the time it's not. So you need to, again, have a letter in your mind. When you have no idea, you pick that letter and you move on to the next section. You do not wanna get bogged down with one question or one section. Now, this might sound weird, but there is a snack break in there. You wanna bring a good snack and something that makes you happy and gives you fuel. You don't wanna bring something that's a lame snack, okay? Because it is your break. That is your mental time to chill and take a break during the test. So you want a snack that's gonna make you happy. I probably would bring like a Rice Krispie treat and a granola bar or something like that. But pick something that you're going to enjoy because you need a couple enjoyable moments during this. Now. The final thing that I will say, other than don't change your answer, have an answer available and bring a good snack, is wear the headphones. Now headphones, you say, what does that mean? When I took the Navli, I walked into the room and we had different sections that we were in, pulled up my chair and there were some headphones sitting there. I was like, that's weird, they're not connected to anything. I didn't think there was like a, you know, auditory portion of this test. So I'm sitting there and I'm taking the test and going through and picking my answers and all of a sudden I hear it. I hear somebody sniffling and somebody whimpering and I hear somebody starting to cry. And some of my classmates were very stressed and they were crying. And that caused my heart rate to just rise and I grabbed those headphones and I put them on as fast as I could. You need to be able to focus on your test only. You cannot let people around you sighing, whimpering, get into your head. This is a mental game. The Navli is a mental game. You know the you know the information. You've heard the information over and over. You've studied the information. So you need to train yourself mentally to go into this test and own it. And guess what? You don't even have to own it. You just have to pass it. And most people pass it. So you're going to pass it. And if you don't pass it, you take it again. 
I know some classmates that didn't pass it the first time. And guess what? They took it again and they passed it. And guess what? No clients have asked them how many times it took them to pass the NAVLI. You're going to be a great veterinarian no matter what happens in this test. So think about these things, mentally prepare yourself. Now the final thing I'll leave you with is since then, I've learned a breathing exercise that helps me relax a little bit. So this is what it is. You breathe in through your nose for four seconds, hold it for seven, breathe out through your mouth for eight. So in through your nose, hold it for seven, out for eight. It has physiologically been shown to decrease your heart rate and relax you. I already feel a little more relaxed. So train yourself to do that. In for four, hold for seven, out for eight. And if you're really struggling, take a minute, take a breath and calm yourself. You got this, you can do it. I hope these tips and tricks help you. If you have any questions, you can DM me or shoot me something in the comments. Thanks guys.